Today we have Kathy Canamarillo, aka Crafty Chica, sharing some great birthday ideas with us using Scan and Cut. What have you done here? I see a lot of fun stuff going on here and cupcakes. I, I just want to eat them. Why don't, why don't you explain a little bit? Well, I wanted a lot of bright color, a lot of sparkle, a lot of different types of textures. So I used this scan and cut to cut a variety of different papers. My favorite is I found this glittered netted scrapbook paper. That is And it's amazing. very hearty and I love that it has so much body to it. And I used it along with some glittered cardstock to make a pennant. So what I did was I programmed using the, the library of images in there in the machine and I put six triangles on one sheet and I cut them. But before I removed my mat, I did a special trick. I programmed some little stars to be cut inside of each triangle. And that is simply, you know, the I'll let's do it. Okay. <laughs> that, I think that's a great yes. idea. So I'm just going to press this one. Going to hit OK. Everything's the way I want it. OK, and now let's cut. And so now that I have the triangles cut, hit OK, and now I want to go back and I'll just go to the home screen. And now I want to put my stars up. So save data, USB. Here are my stars. I'm just going to hit OK, OK, I'm going to load my paper in, and now I'm going to cut. Now, I never would have thought of keeping the pennants and the stars separate. I think that's a really good idea because it does give you that versatility. If you want hearts for Valentine's right. Day or shamrocks for St. Patrick's Day, you can kind of mix custom. and match. I yeah, love customized. the idea of mixing and matching. All right, time for the big reveal. So if you just take the spatula and peel All right, up the let's paper. let's see. This is my favorite part. Oh, it is. It's <laughs> really nice. Look at that. And I'm just amazed that with the just the thickness of the paper mm -hmm. as well as the texture, the netting, the glitter, it cut through everything nice and sharp. And then it also leaves you this little star to have fun with exactly. later on. Exactly. And so this is the heavy glittered cardstock. I have medium glittered cardstock and then I can adjust my blade to put something as thin as tissue to go inside of each of the pennants. So it's very versatile. You can use any kind of paper. That's what I love about it. Well, this has been great, Kathy. Thank you again for showing us just different tips and tricks as well as different papers that we can use with Scan and Cut. And again, just being resourceful and no waste, so. Thank you for having me.